Number three says, know what specific heat measures, know what a high or low specific heat value indicates about a substance. So what does specific heat or specific heat capacity measure? Yeah, it's the amount of heat it takes to heat something up. So it's the amount of heat needed to heat a substance up, or more specifically, heat needed to heat one gram, one degree Celsius. Or an easier way to think of it, how quickly or slowly something heats up. And that's why it's referred to as specific heat capacity, an abbreviated C. Something has a big capacity, it's slow to heat up or cool down. And if um, something's got a low specific heat value, then it heats up and cools down quickly. So I think of the capacity as being kind of like if you had a bucket. If you've got water running and you've got a big bucket, well, then it'll take quite a while for the bucket to fill up. But if you've got a little bucket, it's going to fill up a lot quicker. The water's running the same rate. It's just a matter of how much your bucket can hold. So something with a high specific heat capacity is like a big bucket. It's really slow to fill up, and it'll be slow to leak out. But a little bucket will fill up and leak out quickly. So high specific heat values, those are ones bigger than one. So things like um, water is a pretty high specific heat value. It means it takes a lot of energy to heat it up. So it heats and cools slowly. And that's why if you ever hear about lake effect, lake effect means that your weather stays, uh, in the winter, it stays a little warmer by the lake. In the summer, it stays a little cooler. Lake Superior only changes something like 10 or 15 degrees throughout the year. Yeah, it's not that huge a difference. It just, it's such an enormous body of water. So low specific heat value, when it's less than one, means it takes little energy to heat it up. So it heats and cools quickly. Fancy name for that, we refer to these as conductors or good conductors of heat anyway. And if it has a high specific uh, heat value, we refer to it as a good insulator. Against heat. So a metal cooler probably won't really be that good at the job. But plastic coolers, much better. In fact, usually it's plastic surrounding styrofoam.